Hey guys, this is William Bryant from WilliamBryant.info. That's my blog right there. Go visit it after you're done with this video. I've got lots of other tips on DreamHost and a lot of other things. I am here to help. So this video right here is about DreamHost and how to set up a WordPress blog on DreamHost. I'm going to show you how stupid, easy, simple it is to set up a blog on DreamHost. If you don't have DreamHost, go to DreamHost.com, enter the promo code will save 50 and I will save you half, 50 bucks off of your hosting account. Save you 50 bucks in your hosting account, just go to DreamHost.com, sign up for the two week free trial, enter the promo code will save 50 That's all together, no spaces. All right, so DreamHost, here it is. You go to panel.DreamHost.com once you're signed up, log in. When you log in, you get to the main page here and you're going to want to click on one click installs. Um, they make this really easy toolbox right here that you can go to your uh, different items very fast. One click installs is how you get to your um, option to install a WordPress blog. Now, if you've got help on, there's going to be a lot of information here at the top that gives you a lot of uh, help on how exactly to do all this. Now that you're watching this video, you don't really need all that. Just scroll down and you're going to see a lot of different applications here that you can install. There's two pages. We're looking for WordPress, which is in the first line here. Click on WordPress. A little pop-up will appear. You've got the DreamHost one-click installer. All you do is click custom. Don't click the simple because it really kind of narrows down your options. Just click the custom. It, it, custom is really not as custom as it sounds. Uh, the simple install, um, you you actually, I mean, you've actually got a little bit more to do. The custom install will not prohibit you from installing extra plugins and things like that, whereas the simple installation may actually prohibit you from doing those things. So all you got to do is pick your domain name that you want to install it to. Uh, let's pick an empty one here. Um, and if you want to do an uh, different like if you already have a website already set up on the domain name and you want to do it like maybe slash blog then you can have the website you have existing if you have something there put in a directory that you want to make it like slash blog that's logical that's where Google would typically look for a blog if you if your main website is not already your blog and so it will go there automatically. So if you have a website already set up in your domain name, some pages already existing, do slash blog. If not, take the slash blog out and just make it your main because WordPress is very versatile. You can uh, do a lot of different things with it, whether it's e-commerce, regular CMS and building just a regular website or whether it's blogging, whatever you want to do. Select database, just always pick this automatically create database. That way DreamHost kind of keeps track of your uh, WordPress database and all your other databases. And then all you have to do is click the install it for me now. They do everything. So really all you do is click your uh, one click installs, click on WordPress, and then pick your domain name you want to install it to. Now right here it says that it, it's going to be installed within 10 minutes. Take some little time to set up the database, get all that going. Um, usually never ever takes 10 minutes. Um, but you can see if we go to there right now, there's nothing there yet, but it will be there very soon. Okay, and then you'll get an email just like this from the DreamHost installer robot that's going to tell you exactly how to get into your admin account, how to, uh, if you're switching from a different blog system, to get over to WordPress and import all your information so that you don't lose anything, which is a great feature on WordPress. Um, you've got a readme file that will give you some more details, uh, how to my manage your blog, it's all there, it's all, all there. So what you're going to want to do is click on the first link, go ahead and click that. That's going to give you the information here that you need to finish installing WordPress. Fill that out and once you do, you're going to have a great looking blog set up like this that you are ready to go ahead and customize. So if, if you have any questions, go to my website, williambryant.info. If you're already there, hey, go ahead and put me a comment. Drop me any questions. I'm here to help. I've been using WordPress for years. And any question that you have, I'm here to help you out. Love you guys. William Bryant from williambryant.info. Talk to you soon.